Good day, everyone. We all know very well that the two great commandments as Jesus taught are love God with our whole hearts, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. While simply stated, we also know that following these commandments will be the sources of many life challenges for us. To be able to really love, we need to be able to trust. We trust so that we can feel that we can love safely. We need to trust that it is safe to give up the hurts we cling to because when these hurts lose their hold on us, we can freely share God's love. Then it will be safe to trust and let our loved ones be free because a power beyond us, God, loves them more than we do and ultimately takes care of their safety and well-being. In other words, it is safe to live our lives always without fear because our faith teaches us that all will be well. And even if we do have fears, we can move on courageously. It is not easy to believe this. Why? Because we know that most of us are wounded, lacking confidence, anxious about many things, and feeling the need to protect ourselves. So it is hard to let ourselves be vulnerable, to trust, that is, that it is safe to love. The Gospels, morally and religiously, speak of the essence of surrender. So in the end, we need to surrender to trust, to let ourselves fall into stronger and safer hands than our own. This is a journey that takes a lifetime. It is no surprise if we find ourselves a long way from where we want to be at the end of any given day. Ruth Burroughs, a Carmelite sister, offers this advice, and I quote, Surrender and abandonment are like a deep, inviting ocean to which we are drawn. We, tra we take trips to it to test if it is safe enough to enjoy. For many reasons, we go back to dry land where we are safe, but the ocean beckons us anew and we risk again being afloat in something bigger than ourselves. We keep waiting and then going back to safety until one day when we are ready, we just let the waters carry us." Unquote. So let's try to wade into the waters of God's loving presence each day so that his waters of life seep into our being. Then any fears we have can be absorbed into God's loving and compassionate strength. Have a blessed week.